I'm David Conzett. I'm the Curator of History Collections with the Museum, and welcome to Toys Through Time. This year, Toys Through Time is part of, or adjacent to, the Duke Energy Trains. And two of my favorite parts of Toys Through Time are two local collections, actually made in Cincinnati, the Goldsmith Dolls, Goldsmith Sporting Goods, and the Carlisle and Finch Trains, and we'll talk about the trains in a bit. The Goldsmith Company was founded in Cincinnati in the 1880s by Philip Goldsmith. Philip Goldsmith was a German immigrant to Cincinnati in the 1860s. He had a brief partnership with Wolf Fletcher and uh, making toys and novelties here in town. In the 1880s, Philip Goldsmith went off on his own and started the Goldsmith Company. And they became very well known for their dolls. And they actually had a patented doll body in 1885-86. And you can still find this patent at the U.S. Patent Office. And uh, manufacturing these very special dolls, all different sizes, with china or bisque or composition heads. Uh, the doll business went down a bit in, at the turn of the century. Uh, the importation of European dolls became very profitable and the Goldsmith Company went in another direction. Uh, from the leather hands and feet of the dolls, they also made balls and began specializing in baseballs. And from the 1900s until well into the 1950s, it became the Goldsmith Sporting Goods Company. The Carlisle and Finch Company was another important Cincinnati toy manufacturer of the late 19th century. It's one of those toy companies that's been long forgotten. Morton Carlyle and Robert Finch were two young engineers working for GE at the time. GE was here in the late 19th century. Uh, they bought a small electrical shop from General Electric in 1893, going off on their own. It happened. In 1893, there was a stock market crash, and their business was foundering. And they had to come up with something to manufacture something that they could easily sell to the public to make money to keep their company going. So they came up with the idea of making and selling electric trains. And they were one of the first manufacturers of electric trains in the country, if, if not the world. And we have several of these in the collections. Uh, one of the first trains that they manufactured uh, was a small trolley car, undoubtedly based on the trolleys that ran through the streets of Cincinnati. This was a small brass trolley running on a circular track uh, with a very simple crude battery attached to it. And you could buy this set of this one little trolley for about three dollars. From the manufacturer of the brass trolleys, uh, they rapidly grew to make a small mining locomotive with a coal car. And by 1900, when other, other companies had come in making electric trains, Carlisle and Finch started manufacturing locomotives, uh, freight cars, passenger sets, a variety of trains to compete with Lionel and other companies that were just beginning around 1900, 1905. 